Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. It's Cia Dale. In this video, I'll be showing y'all how I achieve this bomb to press on my client. After washing my client's hair, all I do is spray on my Ion heat protectant that I got from Sally's and I just spray it all over her hair. So then I just part the hair as I go and I take my wig brush that I got from Target, y'all. Yes, Target. They have beautiful ones and they work very, very well. I take my brush and I take my blow dryer. Um, I have my blow dryer for years. It's like a Dominican blow dryer. And y'all know, if y'all know, them Dominicans don't play when they be blow drying their hair. So y'all know my blow dryer is good. So I just do this method. I do it like this. A lot of people don't like this method. I do not know the name. But yeah, this is how I do it. <laughs> so y'all, everything that I'm using for this silk press will be in the description below once i figure out or find or if i even can find the blow dryer brand i would definitely drop it in the description below as well and yes it looked like i'm hurting my girl but we was just having a real deep conversation we was really really into it so it looked like you know i might be a little tugging a little bit but i'm not she's a good y'all and y'all, none of my clients have ever got heat damage from any of my silk presses. So until that happens, this is the method that I'm going to be doing. This is the method that I have been doing for years. Also, I have tried other methods, but this method right here seems to be the best out of the best that gets the hair the most straightened to me. My girl needs a little trim but we're gonna get to that later so y'all y'all see how silky and shiny my girl hair is like don't play with her like she's not one of them for real <laughs> y'all the hair was so silky and so soft that like, i couldn't even get it in a ponytail y'all like that's how you know your silk press about to be bomb like try to put it in a ponytail if it's falling everywhere, you already know. Now, y'all, I just part my section by section as I go before, like, I actually start flat ironing, making sure that the parts are straight so I can get through every strand. And I'll be using my Baby Bliss flat iron, and I use the chase method. Y'all, and if anybody is wondering, this comb I just got from my local beauty supply store um i like this comb right here i like these type of combs i don't know what type of brand but i really like them only because if you put it on a hot flat iron it is not going to burn it does not burn you have some cheap combs that be burning when you put it on the flat iron but this one does not actually burn Now, y'all, speaking of burn, <laughs> yes, I did burn her just a little bit. Not burn, just, you know, that he be hot. So, you know, I had to go in and blow it on my girl because that kitchen, it needs to get straightened out.
y'all and yes i know y'all probably like this girl need to cut her ends we're gonna get to that y'all but just get into this body though y'all were wondering i always wait to do my edges last because you know people be so jumpy when you be flat out in them edges so i always make that last but i don't that's how i do it i don't know how y'all do it but this how i do it As y'all probably noticed that I started doing bigger parts, well not parts, but bigger sections of the hair to flat iron because she usually like her hair like type swooped in the front. So I was going to have to go over it anyways with the swoop. So this is why I did it that way. So let's clip these ends. She didn't want anything major. She just wanted, you know, her hair to be healthy. Y'all, and don't mind my scissors. I could not find my hair scissors, but this is what I do cut my hair with sometimes. So, it ain't my kitchen scissors or nothing like that, so don't come for me. But let's get into this cut. y'all cuz bing bong like i did not come to play like her hair is so beautiful y'all like honestly like just get into it but let's get into these swoops and these edges cuz baby y'all so i'm not the best person when it comes to explaining how i curl but i like swoop it back but once i like swoop it like i like flip it like yeah like flip it <laughs> So, I don't really know how to explain this. Just watch me work. But I literally swoop them all the same way and just twist them up because I comb them out anyways. So, y'all just stay tuned for the finishing look because I know it look a little crazy right now. But just get into it. Just get into it. Like, get into it, y'all. Look 
a lot of hard shit just to learn how not to break down and stop it No matter what I've seen in the past, I want that an impact that we grow now, baby But can't let it slip away, a drift away, can go to waste, go to waste, uh I stay straight, stay to your face, won't contemplate, you got to play that, baby I don't wanna wait another minute for you, I want you got me falling from the ceiling for you so y'all now i'm about to start flat ironing the edges and i literally don't put any gel or use a wax stick for my client's edges unless they want to um so i just use like some silk bond and i'll add that in the description below but y'all thank y'all so much for staying tuned with me and watching how i get these bomb silk presses but yeah Continue to stay tuned so y'all can see the finished look. Once again, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel. Thank y'all so much for staying tuned to see how I achieve this bomb-ass silk press. Alright, y'all, catch y'all in the next video.